Well, just like you said, it's Monday, which means it's time for the weekend box office report brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters, proving once again that Disney owns the box office. Their live action Jungle Book movie destroyed estimates, taking in an astounding $103.5 million at the box office, making it the second largest April opening behind Furious 7. Bolstered by an impressive 95% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, the movie also took in $136.1 million worldwide, bringing the total opening to $290.9 million. Far behind in the number two spot was Barber Shop, the next cut with $20.2 million. The boss fell to the number three spot with $10.1 million and beating Batman vs. Superman yet again. The superhero epic took the number four spot with $9 million, dropping 61.4% in its fourth weekend in release, with a domestic cume now at $311.3 million. And at number five, Disney Zootopia with $8.2 2 million becoming the 10th animated film to ever gross over 300 million at the domestic box office. Mark, thoughts on the weekend box office report? I was thrilled to see my pals Bagheera, Shere Khan, <laughs> Louie, and the rest of them do so well at the box office. That movie deserves for everybody to go check it out in a theater. I think it's going to have a stronghold week to week as well. And look, it also proves that I really don't know what I'm talking about when we make our predictions on Friday because, Dennis, I think a lot of us knew that Jungle Book was going to be number yeah. one, and then we assumed that Barbershop might take that second spot because there was definitely a market for it. And I like that. I like Barbershop the next cut, so I'm glad to see that do well. I thought that Batman v Superman might go back and edge out the boss. So because did I. those two were neck and neck last week. They still were this week, and then Zootopia trailing off. I also thought that people, if they wanted to go see animals in a theater talk this weekend, they were all going to go to Jungle Book. So maybe if you went to go see Jungle Book and it was sold out at your theater, you're like, all right, well, we'll just go see the animated version instead of the live action one. And you checked out Zootopia. So, look, I'm thrilled for Jungle Book. And what I'm really excited about now is this battle we're going to have this weekend because we have the Huntsman Winter's War. How's that going to do? Is that going to top Jungle Book? I think Jungle Book is set for a less than 50% drop-off. I think a lot of people want to go check this movie out in theaters again. Stuart, you see these numbers. What stands out to you? Well, for me, I feel like Disney's on such a roll. Didn't they show the trailer for Jungle Book during Star Wars? They were already kind of like putting it in our minds. And then with the hit of Zootopia... They can't be stopped. I think Jungle Book is definitely going to stay number one. I call Huntsman number two. I think Jungle Book is going to kick ass for at least a good four to five weeks. Like, they are in it to win it. It really looks Until like Captain one of those America movies. Until Captain America comes out, they're, they're chilling Until we get, one. And that's that's the same break that we thought Batman versus Superman was going to have, Dennis, because it came out in a time when you don't expect a big blockbuster comic book movie, so we thought it would have a nice run, and it really didn't have that, and this week is just further evidence. Yeah, I... Jungle Book is definitely, I only predicted like 70 or $80 million. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I was wrong, over $100 million. But you're right, it's going to have a long staying power. I think even through Captain America Civil War, because it, it hits a different demographic. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, also did not win, uh, I think Perry won the box office predictions on, on Friday because she had, had rightfully predicted that the boss would beat Batman v mm -hmm. Superman, which I had put my faith in. <laughs> and was let down, <laughs> thought they were going to retake it from the boss. Did you Did, put money on it or just faith? Just just faith, Good. luckily. <laughs> um, the other thing is Barbershop. I, not only did it do well, it has a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is surprising. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't say the quality of the film, but I, I didn't know it got that high, so it must be getting word of mouth, you know. Maybe, maybe they're paying off uh, the people to trash uh, Batman v <laughs> Superman. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a Warner Brothers picture. They didn't do that. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I'm glad to see it at number two. It, it's funny, sure, but it also has a lot to say socially and culturally. So it's a movie I think I can recommend you checking out. Schnepp, you're the Oracle. What did you see happening this weekend? Well, I think I did call a uh, hundred million for Jungle Book. Right again. What's up? Everything else I don't care about. But I, I'm really happy that Jungle Book's doing really well. We got a chance to see it like last week. And uh, it's so much fun seeing little tiny baby wolves talk to their mom and it looks realistic. I, it's the most realistic uh, animal animation I've ever seen in my life. And it's a fun film. It's a, it's a faithful retelling of the animated Jungle Book with a lot of you know additional new flourishes. And I think it's pretty intense too. Like, you know, I mean, seeing Bagheera and Shere Khan and uh, you know, all the animals like fight each other is like, wow, they, they look really dangerous. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm not there with them. I mean, you know? there, were a lot, there was a lot of talk about how young your kids 
kids should be if you don't let them see this movie or like okay what old how old does johnny need to be before i can take him to see this movie mm -hmm. maybe this weekend was filled with the adults going to see the flick and then being like Doing okay it's right. fine for my kid to check out so then they go back this week so uh like you Stuart, i agree i think jungle book is set for a long box office run and what's the our social media buzz is so good too it's like the word of mouth yeah. and social right. media it's just on fire hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider